Hey everyone, this is Kathy Bertoli from TheIntimacyDojo.com, here with Reed Mahalko from ReadAboutSex.com, and this is Feeling Special, Video 2. Video 2! Um, Kathy just shared with me this, uh, We do that thing. Okay, so Reed and my best friend Rick were just here visiting me together. It's the first time they've both been here. And because riding in the front seat is really important to me, I was kind of like, hmm, I'm going to be driving because we're in Dallas. And what if they both want to sit in the front seat? Well, how do I balance them both feeling special? How do I, what do I do so that they, neither one feels neglected or hurt? I was mm -hmm. concerned about that. Yeah. So this is a classic example of a very caring, huge, open-hearted, amazing person worrying too much. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Now, it's very sweet of you to be like, wow, like that's really important to me. Maybe it's, it's important to them. It's yeah. projection, right? And the way I would handle it is you do your little difficult conversations formula and you basically tell your friends, hey, this thing is really important for me and I'm worried that it might be important for one of you guys mm -hmm. or both of you. I just, I need to clear this conversation out of my head. Yeah. Um, how do we handle it? You might, you know, if you're really worked up about it, like say you've been thinking about this for five days and you're like, <laughs> oh my God, I'm going to... It might come out really kind of sitcom-y, like, <laughs> um, But if they're really your friends... Yeah, they'll get it. We'll be like, oh, okay. It might be strange, Yeah. but... Well, you're used to me being strange sometimes. Um, <laughs> the, but I guarantee you, the strange factor of you blurting out your concern mm -hmm. is going to be way less strange. Then what you do to your inside your head and how it you know resonates inside the car on that drive where you're worried that one of them's upset and now you're like, oh my God, how come how come Rick's never he's in the back seat and how come he hasn't said anything? Yeah. He must be really pissed off. He must really want to sit in the front seat. And oh my God, like Reed just doesn't know and and I really want them to get together. And, uh, and then Rick and I are sitting in a car being like, what is going on with <laughs> Kathy? So I, I really do, like, it's that say what's not being said yeah. and trust if, especially with you and Rick, um, and visit thrivingnow.com if you haven't, that's their website. Um, after however many years you guys have been together, like, if he can't handle yeah. you having a he little spaz fine. attack, hello, yeah. like, if you can't handle me being like this doofus, don't be friends with me. Yeah. I mean, that that's kind of, that's how I would handle the special thing, like, when you... When you catch your momentum, your worry wheel, really picking up speed. Say like, something. Yeah, say something. because and I actually did. Before you got in town, I talked to Rick, and he's like, I don't care who sits in the front seat. I'll just sit in the back. And he didn't care. Yeah. It wasn't a big deal. So, so it's often, my experience has been, it's usually, you know, 99 point whatever percent. It's usually a bigger deal in your head. Yeah. Get then, it out. So then it's actually... Too. To spend time with some cool people. Yeah. Hope that's helpful. Leave comments below. Thanks. What are you worried about?